test one. Test, test, test. <sighs> test one. All right, are we good? I think we're to start off the vlog. I've just been thinking a lot today about business and businesses that are successful and businesses that are not successful. And I'm just wondering, why would you ever <laughs> have a corporation, a large company especially, that does not take care of its customers in a very, very amazing way. Why would you do that? Maybe it's greed, maybe it's uh, laziness. Question of the day, here we go. What is the number one reason you shop at the stores you shop at? Okay, wh why do you go to the stores you go to? So I will actually answer the question of the day right now. The number one reason I go to certain stores is for the service before price before the quality of the product even it's the service the people that are there on the floor helping me find what I need to find and answering my questions in a professional way meaning they actually know what they're talking about so what are some examples of stores that have abundant bountiful numbers of people on the floor answering questions and helping people. Apple stores, Ace Hardware, Texas Roadhouse, uh, Trader Joe's. Uh, just to name a few off the top of my head, there's four right there where you walk in and there's literally five people there ready to help you. In fact, there's people there on the floor that are bored because they don't know what to do because there's, there's so much help. That's what I love, 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 love to see when I walk into these Fortune 500 company, companies that have brick and mortar stores. I love to see the help on the floor. And I'm just wondering, like, why doesn't Home Depot? Why doesn't Lowe's? Why doesn't Best Buy? Why doesn't, um, hmm, I'll just throw, like, Safeway in there. Like, it's a grocery store here in Colorado. Why don't some of these larger companies reduce their executives' pay by a half a percent annually? A half a percent and distribute that money out into the workforce, into people who can be on the floor getting paid eh, twelve fifty an hour, let's say. Come on, these executives, they can afford a little bit of a pay cut to hire more help to be out on the floor in these big box stores answering questions and being ready to help me find something that's across the store, which is like a half mile walk that way. Anyway, I'm, I'm kind of venting a little bit, but I'm just saying businesses in 2018 and beyond, if you want to succeed, if you want to win, if you want to get my business, make sure you have people on the floor that are ready to help. With that said, we're off to date night. True Love and I, we're going to give our money to a restaurant, a restaurant that we love. Why? Because their food is delicious and the service. It's a sushi place. You've probably been there if you live in Denver, Colorado. It's called Sushi Den on South Pearl Street. We love it. It's so amazing. But if you, when you walk in the front door, you look to your right, you're going to see like 10 people making sushi. Okay, maybe it's six, but it's a lot of people. They've got people. they got manpower ready to rock and roll and make this face some sushi. That's what I love. All right, so that's why we're going. Whew, I feel better getting this off my chest. I feel better getting all this off my chest. All right. Yellow. And I was just about to tell YouTube mm. once again, sushi, sushi Den, where I we just were, that. was amazing. Yes. And their service was impeccable. Impeccable. Now we had a great waiter tonight. Uh, he he was amazing. Yes. He, he was really good. Yeah, he was. But it's all about that service in my book. So remember the question of the day. If you could answer it below, I'd appreciate it. I'd be very curious. Wait, and don't I, go. And I think other business leaders would be very curious to hear your thoughts as to why you shop where you yeah, shop. That's good. All right. And remember, two days ago, no, three, four days ago, I made a vlog about YouTubers. Don't fret. Don't fret about being too busy to film. 
I literally turned on the camera for the first time today at 5.25 p.m. And it's now 7.21 p.m. <laughs> and I've created something. Is it the best vlog ever? No. Yes. <laughs> yes. But you got to throw perfection out the window when you're trying to do the daily vlog. You got me? You picking up what I'm putting down? That's good. I'm picking up what you she's what putting down. Good? Pretzel comb. Right there. Put it in my face. I mean, that's Denver. Mm -hmm. We're amazing. Oh, baby. Mm -hmm. right. All right. Seek mm. beauty. Work hard. <laughs> and love each other. See you tomorrow. It's a bite of OMG. <laughs> mm. And wait, don't eat it. I'll take a bite of that. Oh, that's where it's mm. at. <laughs> huh? All right. Now the vlog's over. <laughs>